Welcome to the Business Blast Podcast. I'm your host, Tyler Wagner. This episode is brought to you by Authors Unite. Authors Unite provides you with all the resources you need to become a successful author. You can learn more about Authors Unite and join the free community at authorsunite.com. Now, let's jump into the episode. All right, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of the Business Blast podcast. I'm your host, Tyler Wagner. Today, I have Daryl Frader with us. He's a sharpshooter for problem solving, and he just started a consulting business called Sharpshooters Global. So welcome to the show, Daryl. Thank you, Tyler. Thank you. Of course. Thanks for joining us, man. I appreciate it. Uh, We'll dive into the first question. The first one I have for you, Daryl, is what is the best story from your life that has an underlying valuable message? Tyler, this is a great question. It's actually pretty funny of a question for me because the day that you messaged me, I was uh, the 18th, it was just like a couple of, like last Monday, was the day that I actually got into an accident at my job, which caused to my fire. So I got wow. fired from my job last week, the same day you messaged me to be on your podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that is awesome, man. That is yeah, a so that. So most people will call that a terrible story. But for me, that is the by far best story of my life. Because I, I worked for a CentOS Corporation where we um, are uh, have a fleet of trucks that we um, service different customers in um, different products like floor mats, um, facility services, products like chemicals and all this stuff like that. And um, I was in the office, had a position in the office and I decided to go on route. Um, to learn the business and learn more about the company in order to move up in the company. And I got into the accident and we have a very strict policy where um, if you get into too many car accidents with the trucks, it's an automatic fire. So you messaged me probably about like 10 o'clock in the morning and the accident happened at like 12. <laughs> and then, <laughs> then I got, I got the, the news that I was fired like two days later. And um, uh, that fire um, is a blessing in disguise because sometimes you have to take a step back to propel yourself forward. So I actually, as soon as I got fired, I was like, wait, this is great. I get to take this opportunity to really start my entrepreneur journey and really go hard and do something right now. So in the past week, I fully developed my plan for my consulting business where I'm going to be going into corporations and figuring out the problems that they have in their corporate culture and put, providing solutions to how they're going to fix it through my different um, consulting services. Oh, wow. You know, it's cool, dude. And this is why I love connecting with new people. So, and we'll talk about this after the interview, but one of my best friends runs a company called Culture Matters. So I should definitely introduce you to, because I think you guys would vibe. That'd be great, man. Awesome, brother. Um, the, so the next question I have for you, man, is what is the most valuable piece of information we should know that's within your expertise or industry? I would say definitely my favorite quote or piece of information would be relationships are the single most important thing in the world. Um, Regardless of your industry, regardless of your expertise, building relationships within your sector and just building relationships in general, it's always going to be the best piece of advice that anyone can give to you. It's so much value that you can get out of building genuine and meaningful relationships um, in, in any industry. And uh, so it might tie in, but the next one is, is what is your best piece of overall business advice? So not necessarily industry specific. I would definitely say uh, you need to find a mentor. Uh, Regardless of what you're doing, you need to find someone that's already doing what you want to do in life. Uh, You need to model their successes and learn from their failures. That's how you're going to avoid a lot of the pitfalls that they went through. And then that way you can go through your journey in a much easier fashion. And if you could give your younger self one piece of advice, what would that be? I would definitely say start early, fail often, fail fast, and fail forward. And in your opinion, what is the key to happiness? I definitely believe uh, the key to happiness um, comes in by creating your own definition of happiness and understanding that happiness is really based on perspective. So, the same people, different people can have the same things, but 
one views it happy and one views it unhappy. Um, so it's important that you understand that, hey, just having money or having wealth doesn't mean happiness, you know, is really how you view it and depends on your perspective. And what is the best book that you've read and what was the number one thing you learned from that? I would say the best book would be the most recent one I, I read was uh, Bold by Peter H. DeMantis. Um, he made a book that he really talks about exponential growth and how to pretty much achieve and succeed in the business world. Um, the best thing that I learned from it was his definition about the state of flow. And pretty much the state of flow is defined as like the optimal state of consciousness where you perform at your peak. And it teaches you how to top, tap into the state of flow whenever you please, stay in it as long as possible, and be the most productive and get the most out of being in that state. And I've been using that ever since, and I love it. Like this whole week, starting my business and starting my, my consulting business, I've been using the tips from getting into the state of flow to be successful and produce as much as I can so that way I can get my business going as fast as possible. And what is your favorite quote and why? I have two. So my first one is going to be, uh, be the change that you wish to see in the world by Mahatma Gandhi. I've always, you know, believed that, Hey, if you want something to be done, you can do it. You know, if you want there to be a, a change in the world, you can be that change. It only takes one man to change the world. Um, so that's something that I really hold on to. And then my second favorite quote would be, um, this too shall pass. It helps me in any scenario where I feel uncomfortable or scared or worried or bothered or sad. I know that the, this current situation is going to pass just like every situation that happened in my past. So if you just give it time, this too shall pass. Yes, man. Thank you again so much for coming on. The last question I have for you before we let you go is where's the best place for people to find you online? Best place is definitely LinkedIn. I am a LinkedIn addict and a practitioner of LinkedIn. I love the LinkedIn community. I spend most of my attention there. And yes. then you can find me uh, at Daryl D. Freighter. Uh, that's my name on LinkedIn. Perfect, man. Thank you. And I agree so much. I'm also a LinkedIn fanatic. So we'll talk with you soon, man. Thanks a lot, Tyler. The podcast you just heard was published with Anchor. Got something you want to say to the creator of this show? Send them a voice message using the Anchor app, free for iOS and Android.